Martin's revealed his uh, model, so I'm just going to go and slide over. If I can. Oh. Cheers, Martin. Maybe get round, show you this first model. Just spin the camera around. Underneath. So if you look at that, that's the top pyramid with the pyramid underneath. So pretty awesome. I think we're all seeing probably the first prototype of this one. And that was cool, but check this bad boy out. <laughs> Martin. Yes. You've just got a very cool front party. According to the yep. they're, they're preventing people from travelling to the other realm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're the gatekeepers. Uh, we always talk about the gatekeepers and the watchers. They're definitely gatekeepers. Yeah. Certainly, yeah, certainly on the outside, this is God's white gun. Um, while you have the Antarctic Treaty and, and all those other things. But I think the center, I think they don't have good treaty. I think there's a hollow earth. So I think below the earth, so if you look underneath the earth, this is in a, uh, this is the hollow earth. I think that's what is under, under the earth. So there is a place where. And the entrance is in the North Pole. Or the South Pole? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Are these extra continents? Yeah. Are they the kind of research? Or is it your own idea? There's certainly enough uh, research to. Um, to the fact that we have been visited certainly by um, many gods who okay, came from the heavens. You know, many of them can just talk about this. You know, Is the camera off again? <laughs> oh, right, well. Well, yeah. it's pretty sweet, that is, isn't it? I just got the uh, check the chat coming through. Everybody's pretty impressed. Josh, Josh, impressive. Very cool from uh, just a steer. What else have we got? Uh, Q, is that Bob O'Shea at Global Stairs? Cami, hi Cami. Hi Mrs. Apple. I'm just in, so. Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys, it's even more impressive close up. Tell you what, the stick, I can get in with the stick, boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Bob. You're right, mate. But how do you make the leap into this, which is quite. Um, you got the sound, boy. So well, yeah, do you want to say hello? Yeah. Where are these folks here. That's, that was Bob from Globus. There's Patricia Stair in there. Josh is there. There's Cammy. Look. This is Tessa's apple. Okay. The... Hello, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> Tell them who you are. I'm Will. Hello. Hello, everyone. Where are you from, Will? Will, I'm from London. Yes, they are. They don't go into much detail, but like I was saying, we'll talk about the air, we'll talk about this thing of, you know, the central round of climbing out of the centre. So there's this, this recurring theme of different worlds. So that's my interpretation of what happens. Can I ask you how much artistic license you took 
Well, to be honest, this, this concept is not completely in mind. There was already a map that was released by a, uh, a comic, I think you've seen it in the Flat Earth community. Uh, it was in a comic book. And uh, he showed these outer worlds, and it circulated for a while. And people said, oh, could they be extra lands? So I saw that, along with uh, that Buddhist map as well, for the lands. And I thought, well, this is certainly something worth looking into. So this is not my own invention. I've not created this. I'm just replicating, um, I'm, uh, interpreting in my own way what others have already done. Oh, yeah? So, of course, you can see the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> well, if you think there's a sun in there, it's Mercury. Wait, where's the sun on the floor? So, the sun would be in this realm, under this heaven. It should be Mercury. So, when we look out and we see the Aurora Borealis, we actually see the effect of the electromagnetic sun. Um, that are affecting that tourist field, and that's what we see. So when, when you say sun, what's, what's that? Like the sun in the sky, but inside the earth? Oh, okay. Smaller sun. And you're saying that's too He's getting grilled, but I will pass the message on, guys. No problems. Pretty impressive, though, isn't it? Hell of a lot of work. Somebody's been down the craft shop a lot. B and Q. And that's some pretty impressive star, right? A lot of thread in there. I remember doing that, Josh, when I was doing the rotating star field with just the optic fibers and not even half that number of stars. That was a lot of thread in. Quick answer. Uh, the suns and moons are energy bodies that help direct humanity. You know. Without the sun, you don't live. But if the sun didn't come out tomorrow, it's, 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 it's just done. So it's a bit like a heart? It's a heart, yeah. Aye, aye, savage. When the sun's out, everyone's happy. We're feeding off that energy. And the moon just also... I'll flick you back, back to Martin again, guys. All the celestial bodies are all helping all the beings on this vast earthly realm to coexist and go through different cycles, different motions, different seasons, which I'll explain again. Um, the next. Did you think these other civilizations look human or? Yeah, human. Slightly different. Yeah, yeah, slightly different variations. I mean, we see it in movies, so I think they disclose a lot of things in movies. The recent one was uh, Bright. Bright. Yeah, was Will Smith. Smith. Yeah. That orc being, when I saw that, my heart popped it because I thought, I, th I thought they'd be feeling something there. They might be telling us what these beings might look like. Some of these humanoid beings. They think we've built things in Yeah, absolutely. Why would they put it in Hollywood? Well, I don't understand. What? Yeah, they, they do a lot of that. They, they put a lot of symbology and a lot of clues. You see flat earth depictions sometimes in some movies. Gods of Egypt, they show the flat earth. So they always throw in these truths mixed with lies. And I think they do it because they're preparing us, perhaps, um, for things that might be coming very soon. Um, they don't want it to be too much of a shock. So they're trying so to prepare us psychologically. What NASA tells us, we cannot leave the banana belt. So NASA says that. Where humans don't have the technology to leave the banana belt. And I believe that. So I don't think we can leave. Maybe angels can come pass through. But we are angels. We're, we're the angels. Our, our souls. Our physical, bodies can't get through. our physical bodies, but our souls, our spirits, our conscious energy, whatever you want to call that. So you think there's not three of these? And certainly these places are way out of our reach. So you don't think you can get to the next continent? Not at the moment, <laughs> but we will be soon. How do we travel between the <laughs> hey? How do we travel between the the realms? Um, I'm gonna explain in a minute. Okay. I'll explain, I'll explain, I'm gonna get to that. Yeah. And you guys are gonna miss that I'm afraid. So uh, we're about to crack up again, but I'll uh Can I say goodbye? Yeah, yeah, hey, you wanna say hello and goodbye. <laughs> So say hello first. Valley. Right, let me focus. Hello. Got to do an introduction. Hello, my name is Joe. We're doing some filming here at Flat Earth UK convention, and admiring this, what can only be called for me the most beautiful piece of artwork I've seen all weekend. It's amazing. It's incredible. It really is.
Top one, yeah. top one. Cheers, matey. And I'll, I will definitely do the interview in a bit. I promise. <laughs> it might be tomorrow afternoon that we're going. <laughs> right, guys. I'm going to sign off again, and I will uh, catch you all later. Keep it flat. <laughs>